some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we have body cam footage brought to us directly from Afro Man Audits as he attempts to show us just how incredibly stupid he is. But of course, that isn't exactly too hard for him, considering all he has to do is open his mouth and words come out. So anyway, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This is a video of me at the Marion Police Department. Hello there. A month after they kidnapped me on Mar or on February 14th, 2022. See, what did I tell you? We didn't have to wait long after he opened his mouth for something really stupid to come out. Because you know what? He doesn't know the difference between kidnapping and arrest. And he even used the words in the same sentence. Which is a further indication that he does not understand what similes are, and if you use two, two similes within the same sentence, you're not exactly helping your cause to make yourself look intelligent either. But luckily those two words are not exactly similes, but still makes him look stupid as hell. So basically I'm just at the police department today for records about my kidnapping arrest on February 14th, 2022. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks. Well, I'll tell you what I think about you getting arrested on Valentine's Day. I think it's that you had nothing better to do because, you know what? No girl wants to date a thing like you. I mean, look at you. Look at that hair. It look, doesn't look very well kept. You don't look very well kept. Who would want anything to do with you anyway? Yeah, you're not answering my question. Are you making a new FOIA? Or are you talking about the same FOIA that you already requested through Rachel? I mean, can, that's what I'm asking. Can I FOIA a phone call? You can FOIA anything. It doesn't mean we have to provide it or that we can provide it. Uh, Ma'am, you're being way too nice and way too logical with him. This idiot only understands uh, screaming and guttural noises. That's all he understands. But that's not... Yeah, we still haven't answered... We still haven't answered the question. Yeah, yeah, like Are you it, talking about the same phone call that you already I'm just foiled? Again. Whether it's the same one or not, I'm going to request it again. Okay, I'll tell Kara since you already foiled it. I'll talk Who's to Kara. Kara Bullerman. Who's that? The city attorney. Why? You, you ask for the. You've already foiled that phone call at City Hall. Yes, but Rachel, not Kara. Yep. Yeah. yeah. If it's so the same. So I don't know why Kara gets involved. Like, I need to talk to Kara. I can go talk to Kara. Kara is the city attorney, and she's the one that decides what why we can give out and what we can't that? give out. I'm the defendant. Why would she decide whether she can give you Because there's, the there's some stuff that we can give you, and there's some stuff that we can't give you. Wait a second. Uh, I see what's going on here. So you are essentially defending yourself in the case, and you're trying to FOIA request the information that you need to help defend yourself. You do realize that you can go straight to the uh, district attorney and get that stuff yourself, considering that you are the defendant in your case, and you can get it. It is called discovery. The prosecution cannot hide anything from the defense in any case. And this is a wonderful example of why it is not exactly a good idea to go pro se in your own court hearings. Because if you're not knowledgeable with the procedures, then you're not exactly going to do so well. One thing in the court without showing me that's illegal. Anything they have, I get to see before we even step into the courtroom. We're not here to discuss that part. I'm not either. So I'll follow up. That. I'll follow up on your FOIA request for that phone no. call, okay? How are you going to do that when I've just told you? 
Like, you don't even know what I'm talking about, what phone call, anything, and you just made that comment. You just told me that it's the phone call you wanted to know. What day, what time, you don't know anything. You're not going to go look into that. I got to tell you a day and a time and what to actually look up. You Otherwise, just told me. And you're not gonna, you've already twisted your words multiple times with me coming in here within just a week. One day you tell me. Okay, so what's what's the date? What's the date and the time? What's the date and the time of the phone call that you want? We we can just get we can just move past this and we can get right to the to the date and the time of the call that you're looking for. you say there's four officers on call. Right there, you've already contradicted yourself. All right, what's the date and the time of the phone call that you want? February fourteenth. At cop one fifty nine Spring Over. And I don't know an exact time. Do you have a time frame? Yeah. Do you have a number that was called? Yeah. I don't have a call number. I called from my phone number to City Hall. It was to Ashley. If it was, it was if it was to City Hall, we wouldn't have access it was to it here. To Alicia Abernathy. That's I want your guys' returning call. That's why I've already explained this to her. You just showed up and already know half the story. Okay. Already, me and her have already talked about this. Okay. So, so it was. I just want the. I just want the. I just want to foil the whole phone call again. Just because I've done it one place, don't mean I can't do it. So you've already, so you've already talked to her about it. So she knows what phone call you're talking about. Because you just, you just said she did. Jesus Christ! You're making this a lot more difficult than what it needs to be. Yeah, that's all he knows how to do is make things more difficult because you know what? He doesn't understand the procedures and therefore he's going to get lost easily. But if he were to just ask for help from anybody who actually knows anything, then he wouldn't be in this position. But you know what? He's never going to do that because that would require asking intelligent questions, which he's not exactly known to do. How? I have asked. What's the date and the time? February 4th. I got that. 2-14. Okay. Time. And it was between me, Casey Van Neville, and Alicia Abernathy. I mean... So you called Alicia? Yes, but now uh, you got me. So Alicia... So you get me talking on so many different things that I get off track, and that's what you guys are known for. No, like, my name is not supposed to be on there. This is between whoever made the phone call from City Hall to you guys. Got it. February 14th. So I don't know who made that So from City Hall to the police department yeah. is the phone call you want. between 4.30 and 5.30 p.m. I mean, I don't know when the initial phone call was made, but when the cops showed up, it was between 4.30 and 5.30 p.m. I don't, I can't remember exactly. Just, that's when the process happened. And six officers showed up, not four, what you guys are still trying to say. Okay. Four on call. Okay. Yeah, four were there, four were on call, and two just showed up just to put their hands on me. Okay. So anything else you need done? Is that it? Yeah, he'll probably want to ask for your name, badge number, uh, about 15 FOIAs on your uh, prior history and everything like that. I mean, who knows with this guy? Is this the correct call number for that, that for, uh, for whoever made the call from here to go have me arrested? I just wrote that on the paper down. Okay. If she wrote that down for you, that's the call number. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's the call number for 1344. Four twenty nine, because that's the case number to my case with you guys. That's the ca that's the court docket number, right? That's what I'm talking about the case number. Yeah, what's what's, what's it say? Number. What's it say on your paperwork there? This is old paperwork. Okay. This is just telling me the process of the, the actual process of discovery, the routine paper discovery and your video discovery. I mean, okay. right here it tells me what I'm supposed to do, and you guys tell me one thing, but yeah. Well, that's from the Lynn County Attorney's Office. So. Yeah. Right. That's where you tell me always go to. Here it is. Gail Kaiser. So I, I understand what the process is. Uh, yeah, I don't think you know what it, you're doing, considering if you're trying to FOIA stuff that's supposed to be available through the discovery process, uh, yeah, you don't know what the hell you are doing. You're an idiot. But the process is different when I'm defending mm -hmm. I can't just... I cannot go to the other party and ask for a video. They're not going to want to give it to me for one. I'm the other party. Why would they give somebody yeah, evidence when I know they're supposed to? 
but they're going to make me beg and beg and beg and beg because they don't want to give me that. Okay. Have you even tried? Have you even asked? I know you tried on other occasions to get other things from other offices, but then again, you went over there and acted like a complete buffoon and got yourself trespassed on several occasions. But that's just your personality. That's who you are. You're an idiot. Well, that's that's who the county attorney's office. I don't know how their process was. Yeah, and Mike Kitzmiller says that I can still get it from here, though. He's already told me I can get it from here. I just have to pay it. He, he left you a message that if you want us to proceed in looking at the video, you have to leave a deposit. Yes, I know. But, are you? Uh, but I wasn't doing that right now because okay. here it says I don't have to pay. Right. So you that's do. Why I requested no. to talk to him. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Re I'm not denying anything. If you, you want to go right to, now, though, let, said can I talk? Okay, let me talk for a right second. Here it says I don't have to pay. Okay, I listened so to you. I talk to Mike because here it says I don't have to pay, but Mike's trying to tell me I do. But no, I don't. If you quit your belly aching, if you want that information, you're gonna have to pay for it because. As you should already know, nothing in this life is free. If you go, if you go through the discovery, you don't have to pay. Exactly. That's up to them. If you go through a freedom information request, then you have to pay. You know how hard it is for me to come and ask you guys these type of questions? You guys make me come in here and bicker with you guys like this before you tell me that easy information that you could have told me the last time we talked. Well, you, part you, part of that is you, because you've talked to several different people, and I, have I don't. To. You make me because you don't give me the okay. answers. I got to go to someone else. They don't give me the answers. I got to go to someone else. I have to force you guys to do your jobs correctly. Okay. Well, now I'm telling you, if you want to go through the discovery process, you follow the rules for the county attorney's office. If you want a freedom of information access, then you tell us what you want. We'll get with the city attorney. The city attorney decides what we can give you and what we can't. And then you and then you have to pay for it. That's the, that's the whole argument here. Then we have to sue not. Then sue us. Then sue us. Okay. Yeah, okay, beta boy, quit your whining over there. I mean, you just said that you have to teach them how to do their jobs or something like that. Well, it's not that you have to teach them to do anything. It's just that you don't know what the procedures are, which you continue to prove because you keep opening your mouth and making yourself look even less intelligent with each word that comes out of your filthy little pie hole. It's not up to anybody but the Supreme Court. Right. There's some there's some information that's not considered public information. This is over a harassment charge. That's just about any information. Why any. Why he it's not like I murdered himself. someone. I'm trying to cover up a murder case. Okay, let me let me run a that's scenario. The type of stuff they don't hey, to I'm listening to you now. You can listen to me. Are you done? Are you done? Yeah, I'll listen to your scenario. Okay, so let's say the officers were at your place. Other officers on another call and they run somebody's personal information. That information is going to be recorded on there. You don't have the right to that pr that public information. That can be redacted. Yeah, I understand that. Okay, and that's what the city attorney has to decide, what gets redacted and what doesn't. That's, that's false, though, because I've already gotten body cams in the past from you guys, and there was everything mm -hmm. on it. I've seen all the private information that okay. was to somebody then else. You're, then you're talking about something I don't know, because I, I haven't they seen any know. video that you've you gotten in the them, past. You get them raw. No, you you make your own redaction once you get the raw footage. Well, the you, you, you don't give down. me the redacted. That's not video. that's not up. It's not up to us. No, no. because it's not fair. Because the system is not fair. fair. We know that. Okay, well that's the way that's the way it works. So if you don't if you don't like that answer, then then you got my name, so you can. How much you guys get to? to uh, I still need your name. And my name is Nicole, and I'm the records clerk. But I've told you that before. You know in your policy you're supposed to identify your say you identify yourself first and last name and position. No, not me. You don't even have a name tag or or, 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 or nothing. Like, see, he's, he's identified. He's got his badge, his name, and his badge number and everything. Right here, don't That's worry. What, like, where's your little badge at that says your name? Like nothing. I have a badge. I can't see your first and last name on it. Alrighty. She's she's told you she's given the information that we're going to give you. That's it. Are you done? Is that all you need from us then? No. What else do you need? First and last name and Okay, position. we told you. Records clerk, Nicole. That's all you're getting. In what world does that make sense? This world right here. Is there anything else you need? Because we're done otherwise. I need a, I need a record. She's in a, she has a civil violation jumpster. Now. All right, we're done then. That's, if that's all you need, we're done. All right, have a good day, guys. I'll be back. See ya.
And that's how you deal with these idiots. You just shut the blinds on them and walk away from them. Considering that this guy should have gone and sought some advice. I mean, if he would have known about Discovery, or at least sought uh, the advice of a lawyer, he would have figured that out a long time ago, and he wouldn't be acting like this. He would have gone and done and filled up all the paperwork he needed, and it would have been over with, lickety-split, but no, he's just too stupid to figure any of that stuff out. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.